Hello, Gemini. It's um, oh my God, Tarot, and this is your what are their true intentions? Tarot card reading. So we are gonna have a look using the classic astrology reading cards to figure out who we're talking about. And then we're gonna head into the tarot and see, huh, what are their true intentions? Let's get a breakdown. So your first card, let's get that right. Let's get it right and shuffle. My cat, oh, I see my cat directly putting her anus on my, on the one part of the bed that doesn't have any sheet on it. Okay. Okay. I already cleared a bunch of litter off my bed. I saw a poo crisp or two. Now I know her anus is right there. Got the Windex side area. Oh, speaking of cleaning. Virgo! We got Virgo energy. Gemini, some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo and you're familiar with their games because you share a planetary ruler in Mercury. So communication and mysterious communication is is the name of their game all right so let's let's have a look at your next card libra right and with the virgo the energy is dutiful hesitant and humble with a, with a discriminating diligent and painstaking air and then we have libra who the energy is diplomatic and gracious it seeks harmony and balance in relationship as per every every libra you knew they just want order you know they just want order. Alright. Now let's pull your last card. And that would be Cancer. Ooh, you weren't expecting that, were you? Yep, it's a Cancer. And the energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern a family member, mother or child. You've been warned. There it is. That's who we're dealing with. That's who we're dealing with. Some of you are wondering about a Virgo Libra Cancer combination. Somebody giving you the vibe of a secretive Virgo, secretive perfectionist Virgo, hardworking Virgo, someone who's helpful, someone who just does a good job. Damn it. Then we have that Libra energy where they care about what's fair. They care about keeping the peace. And then we got moody cancer, moody sensitive cancer. Let's see what their true intentions are. Some of you guys are wondering, what are their true intentions? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my. Your first card is seven of cups in reverse. Whenever I see this card in reverse, I feel like they see you as an option. Okay, the seven of cups is, the, yeah, emotionally they care to some degree, but you're they care about multiple things. They care about you. They care about that car they have. They care about that debt that they have. And then we have, look at that. We got the justice card in reverse. This person is not being fair. This person is not being fair. The way that they find balance in relationships is you versus, no, them versus you as in plural. Because we see seven with the choices, the options, and them feeling like they've got to make a decision, but they can't really choose yet because they just, just want to weigh all their options. And then we see the levels of Major Arcana with the unfairness involved with this Justice card. That's a double dose of your Libra energy, so you, it may become clear to you in Libra season. You may be dealing with somebody who's prominently showing the Libra energy. So let's keep going. Oh my, so we're just caught with a bunch of, I don't know what to decide. I don't know what to decide. I have so many options. I don't know what to decide. Indecision. This person feels like they may be undecided and not wanting to let you know what's going on. Not even wanting to let you know that they are undecided. Look at this. That's the card that I get mixed up for the, the justice card as well. Like what the heck is going on here, guys? Okay. Because this is actually the knight, I believe. The knight of swords. And that's wild. Because there's that justice scale there. The knight of swords is a little bit uh, impulsive. A little bit of a hot head. And a little bit of a person who doesn't think things through before they act. So we could be dealing with somewhat of a person with flawed logic, I would say. 
and they're definitely ruled by the, the way that their electrons in their brain signal them to do things because lots of swords energy here. So they have not only the capacity to think, the intellect to execute, and the violence. <laughs> they wake up and choose violence. So this person is about to try to get as much as they can for whatever situation they're in. Oh! Why? You better not. I will wreck this entire place for you. You flew into the wrong apartment. Okay. All right. So we have a lot of swords here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy we could be dealing with. But again, it makes me, it always makes me feel like we're speaking to the mental gymnastics that they're willing to deal with. They're willing to throw out there because of their intelligence and um you know with the knight of swords it makes me go oh, you're in reverse so you're even more of a problem because you're emotional you're moody you know and you're always looking to solve something what well, what if there's no problem and you're trying to solve something like, could you relax your final card is the four of wands okay okay you made it make sense now you make now you make it make sense four of wands is that twin flame card Lots of twin flame stories usually have a lot of drama, a lot of, well, then why would they do this? Why would they do that? Why would they be so cold if they truly care about me? It's like, um, that's not really the point. Feelings aren't necessarily the point. They're just indicators of what was meant to be. Okay? They're, they're reactions to what was meant to be. They have nothing to do with it. Now, there's a lot of choice involved with this person, a lot of weighing their options. And if that makes you uncomfortable, I'm nobody's option. That's one thing. But being an air sign, you're a bit more of a critical thinker, a bit more of an intellect, intellectual th thinker. So you, before you're offended, you would be more like, okay, well, let's see. Let me look through my dictionary, you know? Let me look through my phone book and see who's worthy of a, you know? I, you're not the only one who has options. Right? I got all these tings. You, you don't even know how many tings I have. So for you to be out here, you're like Corey when Topanga was, you know. You're like Corey when one girl flirted with him. She's like, guys flirt with me all the time. Like, and you had to, you know what? I'm out. I don't know if you guys remember that. That was a heartbreaking time in my life. Um, but that being said, we got a lot of conflict when it comes to just the dynamic of duality. And like I said, very typical for twin flame relationships. These relationships are usually the most impactful to us. They leave an imprint on us that we can't forget and we carry into our future relationships or even the recurrence of that same relationship. But it, either way, very impactful to your beliefs, very impactful to your future relationships. Now, let's have a look because these first four cards are in reverse. So I'm like, what the heck is going on with this delayness of it all? What's with their intentions? Are they just, you know, because it feels like they're straight up being mean, kind of, you know, because they're seeing you as an option, right? But that's not the end of the story. You respect thy game when people are weighing out options. You don't take it personally. You're like, okay, well, I mean, I need to weigh out my options too, right? And I understand that type of thought process and I understand the situation, right? But I feel like there's still an air of unfairness. As in, you would understand what they were doing. You would understand that they wouldn't want to immediately commit to you or do anything out of, that didn't call, their situation didn't call for out of the blue. You know, you haven't made your expectations as crystal clear as you could have. So they may be just jumping to conclusions about what your expectations are and lying where they do not have to. And for that, you don't like that. I don't like a straight up liar manipulator embellisher sure but do i i gotta weigh my options too now do i really want to sign up for that kind of a thing now this person's true intentions it feels like they're more oriented around making decisions around you but not definitively saying yes to anything it's almost like they're drawing out any type of decision making and just keep seeing how far they can go and how many options they can accumulate before they have to absolutely must make a decision Again, it seems unfair because they may be wasting one or more person's time. Two of swords is a clear indicator that this person does not want to make a decision. They're stuck in indecision. They're undecided. 
So putting pressure on them may get you the result that you want, but it, it could be insincere. You could get an answer, but it's like insincere. They don't, they haven't fully thought it out yet. And because of time, then they're like, I don't know, I just said whatever. So you don't want that. But then in the same breath, you don't want somebody to impulsively just say whatever from the Knight of Swords energy and be like, you know what, let me just say it for the sake of arguing or peace or just as an uh, impulsive outburst. Because that's what the Knight of Swords does. He's already up, when he's upright, he's already kind of a hothead and reactive. But when he's in reverse, there's no telling. But the reason that emotions are so high and reactions are so strong is because this is a twin flame connection and there are feelings involved, there is some sort of instinct involved, and there's this, I think, cognitive dissonance where this person wants to act differently than how they feel versus what they think they should be doing. This is like somebody who's like 27 and they're like, okay, I'm in the prime of my life, let me go be a hoe. But then they meet somebody that they actually care about and they feel like they can't risk losing but they're like no 27 i said i wouldn't settle down till 30. like you know but it just happens to them because the twin flame energy it doesn't care where it hits you it's like cupid's bow it'll hit you right in between your butt cheeks if it feels like it all right so their intentions are to think things through to think things out to carry out their lifestyle for as long as possible until they cross paths with that twin flame energy that Ooh, ooh, I hit it. Ooh, I hit it with my hand. Oh, I hope. I hope that killed it. I hope that killed it. Because I hit it with my finger. I felt it hit my finger. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it killed it. Yeah. It's probably gonna. Probably wants revenge now. Now it knows what I smell like. Now, now it knows what my finger feels like. It's gonna want more of that. Oh, I see it! <clears throat> Try to fly low. We go high. <clears throat> Stupid. Anyways. Yeah, twin flame relationship looking good. You guys are fans of the twins, right? Because you are the twins. So if you needed that to co sign something within you, go ahead. Go ahead and use it, right? I'm gonna go out here and try to find a body for this fruit fly so that I can sleep with my mouth open. All right, so there it is, that's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. If you'd like your own personal reading, please check out the description for a link to my website as well as a link to my Etsy shop where I sell all sorts of candles. Yeah, I got candles. All right, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.